New at 5.30, one Rhode Island company is among the dirty dozen in New England. It's an award given to those companies who have failed to address their pollution problems. But the company name says they don't agree with the data. TJ Del Santo joins us now with more. The Dirty Dozen, that's the name of a report profiling some of what one environmental group calls New England's worst polluters. And one Rhode Island facility has found itself on that list. A group called Toxics Action Center has named the Central Landfill in Johnston one of the Dirty Dozen Award winners of the year. We're hoping to draw attention to different pollution threats in the region. We're hoping to shine a spotlight on some of these really egregious practices. A group of 13 environmentally conscious people selected the landfill among other New England energy and waste treatment groups as one of the worst polluters. And this landfill in particular has had some serious odor violations. Residents who live around the landfill experience putrid odors on a daily basis. The Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation disputes the claim, saying they've corrected the odor problem that existed in 2011. In a statement, the RIRRC said they assumed the responsibility for the operation of the landfill in 1980 and began implementing modern technologies and protocols at the site, which have made the central landfill one of the safest in the region. The central landfill is the DEM's most highly regulated site and as such is properly subjected to intense scrutiny. There are small efforts being made. We need to see larger steps being taken right now. Jamie Rhodes of Clean Water Action said we all need to move towards zero waste so the air we breathe and water we drink stays clean. Also on that dirty dozen list, the Brayton Point coal plant in Somerset and the New Bedford PCB dump. In the Weather Yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.